Hey, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Ashka. This Viking management action-ish game. I started playing it. This is the demo, by the way, that I found during Stream Next Fest. And you know, Viking looking like survivor, I had to play it. In the first episode, we managed to shipwreck and started crafting, but crafting in this game is extremely long and difficult process. I made this campfire here, which is cool. We made this shelter here, which is even cooler. And I can sleep in it if I need to. The problem is... That I am totally running out of edibles. Berry seeds, resin, feathers, a water pouch. Wait, I actually have a water pouch. Oof, I've not even noticed that. Hmm. Alrighty, that actually saved our lives. But that was like a two-time use only. So my focus needs to be to build a water collecting thingy, and that will be here. This rain collector. And it needs long sticks and sticks. Uh, yeah, where should we put it? E hold to rotate left. I put it right next to my stuff. We need to level the ground. Then we need to add some sticks. And I need to add three long sticks. And I, I believe I should have some. If I go over here somewhere. Oh, there you go. One long stick. We don't have our... Oh, not just throw it on top. I actually need to put it in there. Alright, let me come this way. Oh, I... Kind of recall that we made more, we were felling more trees this way, so I'm taking this long stick. That's one. And the last one, we probably will need to cut a new one. I was trying to bring at least one of these back because we will need a lot eventually. And the further we need to go, the slower the game gets. Two in there. One more. Let's see. That is stone. That is a stick that I will always pick up. Because we need infinite amount of sticks. Wow, look at that. It's the Milky Way. I haven't figured out yet what will be the UI hiding in this game. Oh, there it is. If I ever figure it out, you will get fantastic screenshots. But it's not obvious and I haven't seen any hint out of it yet. Yes. Long stick, please. Wait, am I going the right way? Oh yeah, I am. It's this way. It's a bit disorienting. But I do like this. It's... I think... Uh, the seed stuff is actually... I think this is a randomly generated word. To some extent. But it's still very interesting. And... For some reason, due to the... Elements being fairly similar sometimes. Oh, I had two extra sticks here. Oh... I forgot about my sticks. Alright, let me hammer this up. And that will make us water by the time we get thirsty again. Water supply, oh yes. Hold E to drink. Of refreshing, all good. Alright, so the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to build that Odin thing. 
because that will help us get a few people level supply we need two large logs and what I assume hang on Q print recipe or I mean point pin recipe so that small stone long stick we have the two long stick here now that I remember that I put it here pick it up throw it in yes and the rest is uh, bum, 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 bum. more sticks and small stones if I recall this away when we went we fell a tree but we didn't pick up the stone out of it I mean, not the stones, sorry, the, the sticks. Look at that three stones just lying down here. Right, this is what I was talking about. So I have a little... Pick it up, pick, pick, pick. This time I'm taking the bark as well, because I think it will be used for building more shelters. Oh yeah, that's all the sticks that I will need. Also trying to get the small rocks if I see them. That should be quite a lot. That we can put in. I know, I know, I'm building. Oh, another small stone. Let me walk back here and that you kind of need a bigger fire the problem is it takes sticks I need one more stone wow all right wait I still have this stick here let me yeah put it in the middle and we can go find can I and this is not a mindable stone. Interesting. Oh, I see one on the shore. Come here, yo. Perhaps I should have made a torch. But I'm not too good in that regard. Last stone, yes. And I think this iPhodin needs like a special material. If you put that in, oh, uh, this one needs two uh, large stone. And I actually know how to get that one. We started mining this stone here, and one of the byproduct was a big stone. This similar to the big stick that we are gathering from trees. Oh, one there, and there was one more gathered there. I no longer feel as strong. Uh, why? Another big getting thirsty. I don't see any strength meter, or I don't see anything that would tell me that I am getting... getting tired. There you go. Let me hammer that eye out. Very strange that we use one eye of Odin. The guard that was famously one-eyed. Open storage. And I think you need to put these stones in and when you put five in 
and you get the first five near the wreckage you can confirm and it will activate and you can choose that you want an ass or a sif hard choice but I probably will go with sif just because my first guy will not be called ass <laughs> thirsty giant proficient archer and this one is nocturnal resilience storm rider unease when the weather sensitive i'm weather sensitive that i have reduced productivity during heavy rain and three other extras so you go with sif and if you look at that we give out a beacon and it says time until arrival of the next villager 10 minutes 10 freaking minutes I'm not gonna be a, you know, a downer, but a lot of things in this game takes a very, very lot of time. I mean, quite a lot of time. In the meantime, we can probably craft something, because that person, first of all, will need a shelter. Um, I didn't want it to put it there. T to dismantle. And I make another one. I wanted to check if I can rotate it. E to hold, rotate left. Right. This will be good here. I level the ground. That will actually remove the grass as well. That's great. And I need to supply the sticks. Too big stick. I, I have to do this before it arrives because if you don't, they will kind of start whining immediately that uh, I don't have anywhere to sleep. So that's all right. You kind of need to be a bit proactive. You got injured while working. Oh, yeah, that's also a thing that happens in this game that you can injure yourself by harvesting, like get a splinter in your hand, that sort of stuff. So if you just work, your HP is going down, unlike in other games. Which I, I found strange. So just by building and surviving, your HP goes down, even if you are not fighting. Interesting concept. I'll pick up all the bark, because I think I will need that for the last phase. I also need the sticks. I also need the big stone. Oh yes, luckily that was a close one. Oh. I need to regain some stamina. Oh, there you go. And it needs... Now it needs one big stone and a few more sticks. And one stick, two stick. Please tell me that will be all. Oh, it needs one more stick. Oh, no. We only have a big stick. Let me since it's fairly close. Eventually we will be able to make things like stick storage and other storage. In the meantime, I'm just chugging it down there. This one is too big of a tree, I think. Yeah, it needs a different tool. So let's get us... Oh, do it, does this back here? It doesn't have a stick. Let me get this one out then. In occasion I do have a little bit of a Valheim vibes out of this. Not seriously, it's more like 
just a feeling. Just by, you know, gathering and always having something to do, always having something, somewhere to go. Lots of busy work. I have five minutes until the tribesmen will arrive. I'm ahead of schedule. Right, we hammer up the shelter. And we will need to allocate a person to a shelter. Oh no. Oh yeah, the barks. I had the barks. I was preparing for this. And eventually you can have more settlers. You saw those glowing rocks around the, the place. We can actually mine those. Hang on, I think I saw some, some one of that around this way somewhere. Oh, there it is. So these, you can hold to harvest Jotun blood. And it takes freaking ages. It says blood of the enemy. Most of it is just stone though, but you you can get like three. I want to say three out of this. Mm. Hang on, I kind of need to take the whole thing apart. And he only damaged three out of it. Not exactly that deep impact that you would imagine. Ouch, Splinter! You got injured by cutting stone. Alright, we are. We managed to work it down. Oh, that's. Oh, that's stone. Oh, that is just stone. We didn't get any blood of the enemy yet. So yeah, this is how you get people. Oh, there is one. Jotun blood, magical resource. One. Let me take apart the rest of this. And I think we should get at least three of this Jotun blood, which means that I need to find two of these. That's just stone, I think. Oh, that's a big stone. So we need to find two of these to summon another person. Eh. A few more swings. Alright, so that's one more Jotun blood. And the rest was only stone. Interesting. I'm taking this one stone back because I'm pretty sure we will need large stones eventually. And I don't want to go back empty handed. And just chugging it down here in the middle of the city. I'm not gonna say, well, it's not a city, but you know what I mean. Right, so, actually food is starting to become a bigger problem than, than stone. Yeah, you see, we got two of these Jotun blood. And I wanted to check where the mosils are. Feathers, berry seeds, Jotun blood, fiber, flax seed, water pouch. Hmm, can I fill the water pouch? R to gather. Oh, it actually gathers it to my pouch. Nice. But we don't have too much food. What he want? First of many. Use five Jotun blood to I fall into summon first villager. You will be presented with an option choosing one of two villagers. Be mindful of their perks and your needs. Yes. 
we were. I wanted to get along this shore a bit. Because if I recall, yeah, this is this has some mosels. And that's that's good. That's that's free food. We can also later on tell the people to gather in a certain location. And you need to build like flags all around the map, wherever the resources are, and they will start and gather. I need to check if there will be an option to send them fishing. That would be like a super good thing. But for the moment I have some mosels, which I am eating eagerly. Oh, Sif has arrived and I wasn't even there. There you go. See if immediately. Open villager menu. Hi there. Leisure hours. Sleep hours. Slightly increasing. Optimistic outlook. Nice. I am homeless. Please give me a place to sleep. Um, Manage house are... Villagers that are already assigned to this house so they can be dismissed. Villagers that are homeless can be assigned to this household. Villagers that are already have a household. Number of villagers that can be housed here. Ah, okay, so that's basically telling us the, the stuff. So it can be housing one villager. I assign my one villager. She is no longer homeless. Open villager menu. What I wanted to check is if I can... I'm a builder, but I can assign me to to a proper to a proper workplace. Hmm, I don't actually have a workplace yet. She has some tools. That's good. She has a water pouch. That's nice. I can trade her with some musa, so she has some food. I just the villagers work. Ah, oh, nice. So I can make her work for. Work more, pleasure more, leisure more, leisure. I give her an extra hour of leisure. Apply. Current preset custom. Create, load, create. Type the name of the schedule preset. Oh, this is just the schedule preset. Okay. Check survival information. Okay. Work hours. Schedule balance minus work hours, but it has extra lot, so it's significantly increasing its morale. That's very good. Can I can I assign her to keep this fire going? Can't ignite no fuel. Why can I bark to it too? Oh boy, if I knew that one. T to open campfire menu. Alright. Barbecue. Oh, I can actually add add-ons to it. Fire cover. Cover that protects the fire from elements. Huh. Or a barbecue. God scores. The God scores those who consume raw fish. Oh, then we probably should start with that. Definitely don't want to get cursed. It needs more sticks and it needs more rope. Oh, but she's a builder. Cannot find any stick or rope. Uh, that, what good you are then? Mm. The rope part I might be able to help out. Hang on. Never mind, I won't be able to <laughs> help out. Alright, what are these? Woodcutter spit. Stonecutter spit, gatherer spit. Hmm, I probably should get a gatherer spit. That is basically... Uh, that's, that's good, that is... Uh, hang on, I need to put it in a place which kind of makes sense. Like behind my house we can gather all the good stuff. And probably we can kind of make it like... Yeah, here. Don't mind the mess, I can level the ground and it will look good.
no longer feel hydrated. Right, and now we can start putting stuff in. The stuff that I don't have. Yeah, so she's a builder. Show only this switch on them. Okay. Mm, I wonder if I can kind of make her gather a little bit. Or she's just building only. Because if she's building only, then she's pretty useless without gathering. Alright. Big stick. And the bark. Oh yeah. One big stick out of many. Let me throw the bark out here it will not need to use space in my inventory resin I'm not quite sure what I would need that for but I assume we will need it for something Oh no, it's raining. <clears throat> I recall that my villager doesn't really like rain, so... Yay. She's having a great night. I assume. Bark. Long stick. Not a single short stick, so I guess next time we are around we kinda need to cut the small trees out again. And I also need rope, which I cannot make because I don't have flocks. But let's try one problem at a time. Let's put the big sticks in and the, low, uh, the small sticks and then I can concentrate on finding more flux. Oh, I think I got injured. Alright, so stick, 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 stick. Stick, stick, big stick. Wait, is this? Oh no, left of this tree. Takes a while to get used to. Big stick. I need one more small stick and the rope. This one, what does it say? Why does it say... what? What is that quest marker here? Does it mean I need to go to sleep? I don't yet wanna. Oh, look at that, she's sleeping soundly through the night. Bark. Bark. Big stick. Oh, I no longer need big stick. I can just throw it in here. This one needs... Campfire. Oh, I can add fuel to it. Um, pum, 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 pum. Small sticks and ropes. So I, I kind of need to have 
a small expedition going to find a rope and anything else. But I will probably need to do that tomorrow. I kind of want to sleep through the night and finish this episode here. We have our first villager, which is a good first step. We're still learning about a lot of things and automation. And as you can tell, crafting in Ashka is extremely slow. Extremely. To the point that it's actually fairly hard to present this game for YouTube. Because here we go, another 30 minutes passed, and I barely progressed anything. I built one shelter, and we looked into the first companion. Which is not particularly much. So let me put my head down here. Home sweet home. And say my goodbyes for this episode. It will anyway take a while before when the sun comes out to my health is regenerating. But yes, here we are. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think of Ashka so far. Is it something that you would be interested to play or is it just too slow for you? Or it's not slow enough? <laughs> Those are the options. Let me know in the comments. See you folks in the next adventure. Bye-bye.